Here's what's on the show. First up, should social media firms crack down to stop the conspiracies about Kate? It's getting crazy. Theories about the Princess of Wales' recovery from abdominal surgery are running rife online, with more than half of Brits saying they've seen one. If the latest images of a beaming Kate can't stop the rumour mill, what will? Then we're asking if diversity schemes should be axed. Business Secretary Kemi Badnock has called them counterproductive after a report found most of the money spent on them was wasted. Do you agree? Then the speculation of a new 007, but is it a good shake-up or are you getting a bit bored with Bond? The casting has been called bland. If it is this guy, bland, apparently. Do you think he's got a license to thrill? Can he, can he change his, his uh, spots? We'll see. We'll take your calls. We'll see what Bond girl Susie Vanna thinks. Then it's the papers and everything else at 11.15. Storm will debate whether noisy church bells should be silenced. At 12.45, Dawn Neeson is standing in for Alexis. And I can show you now how to get in touch with the help of the Kensington Palace Photography Department. Here it is, 020 7862 2222. Somehow I've ended up with Alexis's hair there. I don't know how, how that's happened. Uh, it was fine leaving us. 020 7862 2222. Over here you can see it's 16 pence per minute on the old landline, and a mobile may be dearer. Don't ask about the hands, because someone's had a really rough go on them. Then it's TikTok and Threads and Facebook and Instagram and Twitter, now known as X, and YouTube as well. If you look for Jeremy Vine on 5 on YouTube, you can find our kind of our greatest hits, actually. We've got a lovely YouTube channel for you. So welcome, panel. And there's a lot of front page activity around a, a particular development on the Kate story, which is unfortunate if true that at the London clinic where she was treated for this abdominal issue, somebody tried to dig out her details from the computer, Carol. Um, yes, it sounds very suspect. It sounds, um, I, don't, I don't want to say that they were doing it to maybe sell the details if they tried to dig them out. Um, yeah, or maybe they just wanted to, to know themselves. I don't know, but it, it's not what they should be doing. Yeah, well, I, I mean, it's just a, yet another part of the circus, Jenny, isn't it? Yes, it's incredibly worrying. You would think that no matter who you are, you can have medical treatment without somebody digging through your files um, for whatever reason. You know, as you say, it could be individual curiosity. It could be because they thought they could make some money from, from selling it. Allegedly, we don't know exactly what happened What happened there. But, you know, this is really the, the, the lowest of the low. I mean, the, the royal family has said it's a, it's a matter for the clinic, but I would be very angry and if this had happened yeah, to one of sure. my relatives. So it's on the front pages of nearly every paper. This, this development and the whole thing, really, the whole Kate story and the the, the Mirror is the first paper we've got here. And, and you can see their headline, Kate's Medical Records Security Breach. As I say, the London Clinic are now having an inquiry into it and, and Kensington Palace saying that's down to them, whatever's going on there. There they have the famous photo of Kate out and about. Start, this is not a recent photo. Staff at Kate's hospital tried to access her records. Allegedly, the mail says, the son says, this has got the, the eyewitness who saw them shopping. And we'll come to this issue of, is, is that Kate? Because this is now this, this crazy stuff on Twitter and elsewhere saying that's not her, it's a lookalike. This guy says, I saw her with my own eyes. When are the trolls going to lay off? Daily Express, Prince focuses on driving forwards and not Kate rumours. He's said he wants her back by his side. And the Daily Star has a bit of a joke, world goes mad after a woman goes shopping. And again, so there's no doubt in their minds that that is Kate. So it's front page again. And all she wanted was just to recover from, from an operation and from being a bit ill and under the weather. And what are they doing wrong, Carol? Yeah, I think her people, her PR people, have handled this whole thing appallingly. You know, when Charles, um, when we found out he was ill, uh, we found, first of all, he had a prostate problem, then we were told he had cancer. The, the statements that were released on his behalf were a masterclass in not just brevity, but in giving up just enough information to shut the media up. To, 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 we knew what was wrong with him. We said so. We knew what treatment he was getting. We don't, we don't know what's... I mean, once again, we don't okay. know what cancer he's we got. Don't, we don't know. We don't need to know that. I don't and all, but also, yeah, that's fine. But the key thing is we've seen him. Yes. We've seen him and he's out and about. But with Kate, this... You know, when you, when you make an announcement that a 41-year-old seemingly healthy woman has, is having something so serious that it's going to put her out of action for three months. Your, your mind goes into overdrive. Now, I, I sympathise with her on the, on the level of, uh, as a woman, I sympathise with her uh, because I think if it's something personal, intimate, private, she might not want to talk about it quite yet. However, 
I'm not a queen in waiting, she is. And I think her people have handled this appallingly. They should have given us more because, because what you do if you leave a vacuum, you, it gets filled but with that's, idiots. But like that's like blackmail, media. isn't it? They say, give us more or we're all going to talk rubbish. No, no, but I mean, so the stuff that, you know, this, apparently all this kind of, these wild conspiracies uh, has upset them both. Mm. And it's no accident that we're seeing out in Windsor at the weekend. They wanted that to happen because that's their way of saying she's getting better. She's, mm. she, no, she's out and about. Yeah. Um, but the conspiracy theorists won't even have that. That's not her. That's, no, no, that's, well, that's, I know. That's, that's but I mean, like. Jenny, is there any argument to say, this will sound crazy, but China does it. We've got to now take control of Twitter and, and shut it down for the time being. I don't think we should take control of, of Twitter and shut it down. I do think we should perhaps ask the social media companies to stop promoting these conspiracy theories. I am not very interested. I'm probably one of the only people in the world who's not massively interested in trying to work out exactly what's wrong with her. And yet, if I go onto Twitter in, in the horrible suggested curated feed, every other tweet is some random person with some completely ridiculous mm. idea, which I have not asked for. And they know, the social media companies know that a lot of people are really addicted to this. They're treating this like a hobby, sleuthing this. And they know that this is keeping eyeballs on their apps, which is what makes them money. Yeah. It's what they can show advertisers. So I think... And, and you might be, would I be wrong in thinking you might be tempted to be interested, a little bit interested when someone comes up with a crazy theory? Of course, you as a I mean, journalist, these you... are things that would never have occurred to me to be yeah. interested in. But when you see, so for example, when there was the November truther woman who was saying, oh, actually, they're outfits that they're wearing in the doctored photo or in the edited photo, uh, I can prove that, in fact, they were, wearing, yeah. they were wearing it. No, they were wearing it when they went to that visit in the food bank. I thought, oh, yeah, that's interesting. Right. Because mm. um, it looks like there's some new information mm. there. But then because I happen to linger on that, there is all manner of, of, of ridiculous stuff. Well, so so yeah, two days ago, Twitter, Twitter, there was a hashtag, royal, urgent, royal announcement. Now, there wasn't an urgent oh, royal announcement. Yeah. But that because that starts trending, I became interested in, yes. my goodness. And then when you click on it, you see people have mocked up crazy things. I mean, you know, well, with pre King Charles, uh, you know, well, actually, I won't even repeat. No, just no, stuff that is just yeah. ridiculous. But, I mean, things that, that she's on the masked singer, that she's having a Brazilian <laughs> butt lift. I mean, you know what I mean? These people are idiots. And even when there's a bloke who's actually been this close to her in a, in a you know, in a, in, a, in a food thing. Well, that's a joke. But surely it's, someone's saying she's on the masked singer. They're not expecting other people to believe it. In fairness, they're making a silly joke. That she's they? had a Brazilian it's butt a, lift. It's a playground. As pl well, I don't know about it's Brazilian. Tight, it's just silly. The problem is we, we don't believe things that we see with our eyes anymore in, no. in this yeah. era of, right. of AI and, and deep fakery. And the problem is that the information that the palace gave out or, or Kensington Palace gave out was vague. Yes. It was vague. They gave a little bit of abdominal surgery. She doesn't have cancer. And then, then you'll think, well, what, what would a woman in her early 40s have that keeps her out of action for so long? So they either should have said nothing at all or they should yes. have said something a bit more concrete. But they also made the fatal error. And I, and I still believe it was Kate. As she said it was her diddling I, around on her iPad, adjusting a family photo. they released that I don't photo. Think oh, they yeah. released yeah. it. Yeah. And, I don't and think that, it that photo was a fake photo. I don't think that she edited that. I think her people would have edited that. It was and so I, badly edited. And I think she, exactly, she's a great photographer. Why did you yeah, edit it well, so badly? Yeah, but that's the whole point. Great photographers are bad editors. No, they're not necessarily. No, no, I don't believe it. But I it was think released. That was, this is the thing. Why didn't they stop? Why didn't someone look at it and think, oh, people are going to scrutinise this? That's the real it's, crime. It, it, that's the, the, this is the, this is, we're reaching, because we've been in this digital nightmare for, for a couple of decades now. We're reaching the outer limits of it. And one thing we've realised is that the royal family are going to have to go back to getting Cecil beaten in to take their photos <laughs> and not and not mucking around with phones anymore. But even he mucked around that, with the photos. They, they, even in before computers, people used to do things with how they developed them. People have always mucked around with they photos. They change photos George's head been, with Charlotte's photo, The problem is this photo was being used as a kind of proof of life photo. This is yeah. the thing. Yeah. You know, pictures in the past, they're portraits. You can do things aesthetically to them. This photo was being used for different means and that's mm. why the people really should have checked and, it before and, it went out. The royal family have to change, you know. You know, years ago, we know that they did didn't say what was wrong with, you know, we talked about George VI the other week, yeah. you know, who, who died of lung cancer. He didn't know he had it. We he didn't wasn't know he even told it. himself? He wasn't told himself, I know. And, and even when the Queen was ill, and, and the thing is, I mean, in, in the media, there were, you know, there were rumours what was wrong, but it was never announced. And I was quite happy about that. I didn't really want to... Which in 96, you know. That's, that's why I didn't really want to know. However... Um, they have to change, and I think Charles led the way on that change. I think what I think what he did was really good. Not too much intimacy, but but enough to to proclaim. And it's not we don't want to know out of any sense of ghoulishness. I think it's because the public adore Kate. They really like yeah, but her. But ch changing, being modern, she if you're Meghan, means 
using your mobile to take a picture of Archie, right? The press didn't like that. And that's part of the reason she got into trouble. We're now going to have to go back to bringing in an official photographer because we know that's a real photo. Well, yeah, but so even, we're now going to have to demodernize. But even the photo isn't the root cause of the problem. Oh, it is. It, it fueled the theories, but the root cause of the problem is the way the information has been handled. No, no proper information has been put out there. And, you know, I've had a lot of flack because I've written stuff about this and saying that, you know, I don't want to know every cough and spit of what's wrong with her. But what I do want to know is that she's OK. And I think that's what most people All right. We, we'll know. talk a bit more in a moment. There's a big debate this morning after the break. We'll take your calls on this. Should social media firms crack down on the nonsense conspiracies about Kate? Give us a call now with your thoughts. 0207 862 Should they crack down? And if they don't, should the government crack down on the social media firms? We'll see you in a moment. Welcome. Welcome back. We're live on Channel 5 with Carol and Jenny. Later, we're debating if diversity schemes should be act. But let's talk a bit more about social media companies and whether they should crack down on the cake conspiracies or maybe the government should force them to. What's happened is that ever since the prince and princess's appearance at a Windsor farm shop, it's just gone crazy amid suggestions that that wasn't her. So let me show you what's going on here technically. And I've just gone into my, by the way, there's a the picture of my lovely dad. We were just, there, there he is at the age of 20 or something. Now, not, not with us now. So these are my iPad photos. So we pull out one picture of me. OK, this one here was taken by the editor of the show, Ian Jones. It has to be said he's not very good with the camera. OK, so it's really blurred. So what happens if I put this through an AI? There's AI enhance. Let's just hit that. And let's see what a computer can do and on an iPad, fixing the details. Let's see whether it can pull out my face from that blurred image, because that's what people are doing to Kate online. No, it can't, because that is not me, everyone. That is uh, basically a sort of one-eyed 92-year-old. So before is blurred, but after isn't me. But it hasn't stopped the conspiracy theorists from looking at the Kate blurred photo and saying, aha, we think that's not her. And I'll just show you exactly what, you know, classic thing. If, if you put that picture of me in the papers, that's gonna be the result. Vine mystery is imposter presenting his show. That's what would happen. And that's what's happening with Kate. Ever since her brief appearance there at the farm shop, people have been saying that's not her. And even yesterday, BBC reporter, says the Kate at the farm was a lookalike. And as a result, people have then been going over this before after thing, doing exactly what I did just then on the AI app and saying, aha, that's not Kate. But you can't take Kate from a blurred photo or me from a blurred photo of me. But this looks like somebody who apparently is a professional Kate lookalike. She's now stepped forwards to deny it. This is the craziness we're in, right? So, so we've, we've shown how that doesn't, you can't get me out of the blurred photo. And just same with Trump. This is the famous Trump prison shot, okay? Press control plus shift. There we are. It's not him. You can't get the real person out of the blurred photo. You'll get a face, but you won't. So does that convince you, Carol, that that was Kate? Uh, yes, because it was a lookalike. How did she manage to get Wills there as well, which, which would well, seem a little bit odd. Cause that, well, he would have that, been a lookalike too, and that, presumably no, he's wearing a mask no, or something. I've said the, the lookalike doesn't really look like it her. Really <laughs> doesn't, you know, it doesn't. I mean, that's the but thing. But the lookalike has to deny being in the photo. <gasps> Jenny and I were just saying that. It doesn't look like Kate in the sense that we're used to seeing her polished and we're used to seeing her with all the curly hair and the, and the full makeup. She doesn't have any of that stuff there. She looks very natural. Um, but, you know, the, the fact that they stepped out together uh, to do that thing, was not an accident. That was supposed to put pay to all the rumours. But well, why couldn't they take a proper photo? I know, it's just madness. Because as somebody said, we've, we've had 10 years of pictures of Kate taken with these 100 millimetre lenses and the most beautiful light. And the photo that matters, they're taking it on a Nokia? It seems very strange, all of this. If this was a, was a stage thing, if she's well enough to go out to a farm shop, yes. why not just release a picture or, you know, why not yes. do some public event? I know she said she's going to come out after after Easter and, you know, she has the right to recuperate, but surely they can see that it is, again, as we were saying, the vagueness of this, mm, yes. the almost but not quite of this, that makes it so that people are now using this as a hobby to go online and try and, and work out yeah. what the truth and, is. And do you know what's going to happen at Easter? Because we're now being told that she's going to she, she is very likely to go to the church service at Easter with the family. If she doesn't... 
I mean, there's a massive pressure on her now to go well, there. If she doesn't, there's going to be more theories that she's really not well done. Her. So I, I think her people, she really needs to sack her people and get some new ones mm. because they are just making it worse every single okay. day. OK, Kayleigh is in London. Kayleigh, do, do you think the social media companies need to take this stuff down? Hi. Hey, Kayleigh, what do you think? Um, so, yeah, I mean, I think social media is a weird place anyway. Um, but Kensington Palace really haven't helped themselves with this. Um, just from the initial statements to the doctored photo. I see people keep saying it's edited. It's been doctored, which is a completely different thing to just simple editing. Um, but yeah, I mean, uh, the family photo, the not Kensington the farm shop Palace photo. really haven't. Yeah, the family photo. Yeah. Yeah, they haven't helped themselves. And in terms of the social media conspiracy, it's interesting that we were giving Kate so much grace and, oh, let's leave her alone when there was another princess who had to flee the country due to, again, social media conspiracies, abuse that has been in the press for the last seven years. We're talking about Princess Meghan. Yeah. Yeah. OK, thank you. Sarah in Leicester, hi. Um, hello, Jeremy. Good morning. What do you make hello. this crazy thing? Is that you get a blurred photo, you can make it look like anyone? Well, <laughs> can I just say that... Can I just say that this, uh, the royal family has brought this upon themselves yeah. and I don't think they should you know, crack down on the social media. They would not do that. And the reason is simply because why didn't they shut these conspiracy theories down when the same thing and even worse happened in their watch to Megan? Remember when they said um, Megan made Kate cry? Did we hear anything from the palace to say, no, that's not true? Well, they, Remember when they said Megan... Let me ask Jenny if you, if you, you see the, the, the argument there. I, I don't really, because I do think... OK, yes, there may have been a lot of misinformation about, about Megan, mm. and I, I accept that, but... Meghan making children cry is not the same as the princess might not be alive, uh, the princess might be seriously ill, uh, the, the, you know, the prince and the princess might be splitting up. These are really big, huge things that really do need to be corrected, I think. And I feel that in this country, we as the public feel that the British press are sometimes very deferential to the royal family. They can be. They won't speculate, but foreign newspapers will. Mm. So people go online trying to see what's the Spanish press saying? What's the, what's the American press saying? And it's about this mm. vacuum of information when the stakes are really very high. This isn't a bit of, of gossip about somebody being a bit mean. And, and I accept that there was terrible things said about Meghan. Um, but this is not but the same. This is about people being alive, dead, marriages being over. This is a really big yeah. deal. Dee Dee is in London. Hi. Hiya, how are you? I'm OK, Dee Dee, thank you. What, what do you think? Should, should, should something be done about all these rumours? Um, listen, conspirators will always be conspirators. Speculators will always be speculators. The best thing to do is the media not feeding into it, all right? Kate, um, sorry, Catherine, obviously, the Princess of Wales, just using her correct name, they put out a statement. I, I kind of like slightly disagree with everyone saying it's the palace's fault. They put out a statement, OK? The problem with people is there seems to be this attack. Oh, the royals are not doing enough work. They don't have enough engagement. What are they doing? Oh, she's gone off sick now. They put out a statement. They gave us a timeline of expecting, you know, like how things are are going to unfold. And they've specifically said that, you know, if there's any significant updates, they'll let you know. Why isn't that enough? Why is the media? The media are not even doing real journalism. They're allowing the conspiracies to guide them because the more engagement they get by, you know, like talking about the conspiracy, the more money they get, the more exposure, the more visibility. Well, social they get. media. That's yeah, exactly I don't, I don't think, but, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I hope our, our de blurring exercise there showed that we're not trying to suggest that wasn't Kate, but I mean, I noticed there's a BBC person saying it wasn't her, so this this stuff is spreading, Carol. Yeah, I mean, Didi says it, they, they put out a statement. They put out a statement that said absolutely nothing. And, and you know, it, when people say it's none of our business what's wrong, so, well, yes, it is, because she is the queen in waiting. So it kind of is our business. We're invested in the royal family. They exist because... But health is a special area. Is that we can't it, say it's our business. If, if, no, you know, I've said right from the start. Certain things. We don't want to know every coffee 
cough and spit. We don't want to know that. We just want to know that she's going to be OK. And we've not been told mm -hmm. enough about that. We don't want to know the intimate details of what's happened to her. We just want to know, not out of any sense of ghoulishness, that she's OK. okay. But, you know, you can't keep on... You know, Dee's blaming the media for everything. You can't blame the media for reporting this crazy stuff mm. that's being out there. That's, well, it's a yeah. job to report uh, what's they, happening. It's, I guess it's, we're all dealing with social media. And, and I remember right at the beginning of my, my career in about 1990 doing a piece on the rumours that Elvis was still alive. Right? <laughs> uh, and and it, was, it was the same kind of thing, but it wasn't turbocharged. So there was a picture of someone who said, that's Elvis shopping at Tesco. <laughs> and they had a photograph. And, but, it, but it wasn't the same. It's not gone round the world that, you know. Um, good, goodness, if that was happening now, can you imagine? After the break, we're taking more of your calls on this. Should social media companies crack down on the cake conspiracies? And if they don't, should they be suspended for a while? 0207 862 is the number. See you in a moment. Now back to your calls on the mayhem that's engulfed the royal family. It's not an overstatement, is it? Princess of Wales continues to recover from abdominal surgery. And now we've got all this nonsense on Twitter and everywhere else. All the conspiracy theories. Kathleen in the West Midlands, hello. Hello, everybody. Good hello. Morning. So it's Hi. funny um, seeing, seeing people who are quite respectable saying that wasn't Kate at the farm shop. It's ridiculous. You are going to have conspiracies, whatever happens. Uh, social, it should be something should be done about social media, but media, sorry. But Kate and William are very level headed, and they're probably having a good laugh about this and what people are thinking. Um, they may be concerned, where I would be really, really concerned and be really worrying is that they're trying to find out about her medical records. Yeah. Kate has been. Kate doesn't want the world to know what is wrong with her. Um, I know that they are part of the royal family, but then we have not got that right. But I think the press have got at it because she hasn't said anything. Mm. I think this is where it stemmed from. Well, maybe, so maybe she today, has not said anything. Would you like to see Kensington Palace come out today and say, look, broadly speaking, this is the operation she had and this is how she's recovering and you won't be seeing her till Easter? I, 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 am, I, I'm not, I am not concerned about what operation uh, Kate has. Yes, it's different with the king. He let people know what was wrong with him and Sarah Bergenson. But because Kate has not said what is wrong with her, yeah. this is why this is all the speculation. Understood. Thank um, you. Go on. Yeah. All right, Kathleen, thanks. Um, Vincent in Nottingham, hi. Hi. What do you think, Vincent? Uh, I think people should be thinking more about Kate and William's mental health, considering what he went through with all the press and problems with the media and uh, regarding his mum. Uh, it must be weighing on his mind. I think Kate and William's got the right to privacy. Uh, there might be king and queen in waiting, but at this moment in time, they're not. So they should be given the privacy. Uh, social media is way out of control um, with the event of AI that's uh, appearing more and more now. Would you, would you just say we should? Worse. I know it sounds crazy, Vincent, but the Chinese have got, they basically won't allow anything to appear on Twitter unless they've, a, a government minister's seen it. Should we get into that situation? No, but I think uh, the capabilities of the, uh, of the media, social media, they've got the capability to stop these conspiracy theories and all these things that's appearing constantly. They're part and parcel of it because it, it, it earns them money. At the end of the day, there's no control. They're under no control. Nobody wants to stop people finding things out. But at the end of the day, she's been poorly. She's right to privacy as far as I'm concerned. I don't want to know what's the matter with her. If they come on one day and say that well, she's critically to, ill, to a point then you, it you, would be well, sad. Carol would like to broadly know, wouldn't you? Yeah, all I'm saying is that, that you know, she is a member of the royal family. She's a working royal. She's probably one of the most popular royals, if not the most popular royal currently. And, and I think people, you know, it, it's not about them having a right to know. It's about being invested as a subject, as I say. But, but I mean, I think as well, that, you know, the, the crackdown on social media, if we can't crack down on social media, on paedophiles, if we can't crack down on people who make death threats, we're, we're sure as hell not going to be able to crack down on, on these... Well, we can crack down on the first pay. people, can't but, we? I mean, but, they, 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 but a lot of them being rounded up. Well, they don't do it, though, do they? Well, Social media don't do it. 
Because, as Jenny said earlier, you know, they make money. Well, it's, it is in their... But Elon Musk always... was interviewed yesterday, I saw on Twitter, this interview, where he said he would not stop anti-Semitic or racist things on Twitter because it's not illegal. So he yeah. won't stop anything illegal. So if he won't stop things that are, you know, yeah. incitement and to, to do terrible things... And lying isn't illegal, things. fundamentally. Lying is Most illegal. of the time it's not illegal. It is absolutely not going to happen. But for me, I don't even ask them to, to take it off. I just ask them to stop promoting it, to stop, mm. stop monetizing it quite as much as they have been. Mm. Yeah. You say, okay, thank you, Vincent. I just, I don't know whether anyone is going to say that somebody needs to take control of social media and properly edit it. But I mean, it's, <laughs> I don't know, that's a job, isn't it? Karen in Dorset, what do you think? Oh, good morning, Jeremy and panel. Hi. Um, well, I just remember the phrase, no news is good news. Um, <laughs> now, we were given the information at the beginning. She's having an operation. She'll be back at Easter. We should respect that mm. and appreciate, you know, no news is good news. If there was... Some bad but, news. We yes, yes, that's, but that's the true. thing is, what they used to do with Russian presidents is exactly that. They would say, mm. Chernyenko has got a cough, <laughs> and that was Monday, and then Wednesday he was gone. Yeah. So we, we can't do that, can we? We, we? we can't be Soviet. Well, we're not waiting indefinitely. Easter's not far off now. Um, but we've been told that we've been given the cough, right? She, you know, Andropov has got... Chernyenko and Andropov both had coughs the and they were both is, gone the in six is months. We didn't have no news. We had some very vague news, which yes, is this, this term point. abdominal surgery, which yeah. is, is kind of meaningless. We don't know. Does it mean she's seriously ill? If she's out of action for that long, it means she's seriously ill. So that's the problem. There was Anything no, abdominal there was is serious no in, in my humble experience. Well, they said it was not really? cancer, but then yes. through... You know, I've had my appendix out. I was not in hospital for that long. No, no. And no. so it does lead to speculation because... Because yeah. there was there was it's there was little bits of news dripping mm. out because they they gave this really vague. Poor her because you just just to think about her for a second here, she you know she, they always say the stomach is the second brain and it's a it's a focus of mood and everything else and often people who are very stressed they can feel it there in their head mm -hmm. or in their stomach you know you can feel that like butterflies is a classic example, and you know I don't know whether we've been not told very much because whatever's going on may be partly physical and it may be. Mental. I don't know. Yeah, she has said that she will at some point, she's put it out through her people, that she will at some point talk about what's wrong, which suggests to me that it maybe is something that's very intimate that could be very embarrassing for her to talk about, and she's going to wait until she's better until she does that. But I, I just think, you know, you can't... We live in a modern age. You can't, we can't put the social media genie back into the bottle again. We can't do it. Well, it's, we can it's, ignore it's it, can't we? Can't you just sign out of it? Oh, you can't... No, well, you can sign out of it. We can sign out of it. It's not going to yeah. make any difference. It's no, still going to be... And people will still, still hear the rumours from it, yes. even if you're not yeah. on Yeah, and, and, and actually maybe lying should be against the law. I mean, per se, it isn't until yeah, you hurt somebody. Be, I don't want to be lied to. How naive am I by the by the royals or by the government? I don't want to. But be well, lied there was a to. newspaper called the Sunday Sport. I don't know if it's still going, but they had a story: Spitfire found on Moon. <laughs> now you can't take action against that, can you? But <laughs> I it, do remember that. Yes, you, yeah, exactly. Um, Mar there was always Martians, and they had a photo. But I don't know whether. So it's not always bad. That was entertainment. Yeah, that was entertainment. But I think people who are doing this stuff think they're being entertaining. Yes. I really do. Okay, thank you for your calls. Let's leave it there. We'll be asking about.